Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our presentation on our brand development from the Mr. Kipling Chocolate Slice to the Mr. Kipling Lighter Bites. The brand Mr. Kipling was originally owned by Rancovis McDougall in 1960s and was officially launched in 1967 through extensive advertising and the slogan Exceedingly Good Cakes. Mr. Kipling obtained the number one cake brand and has held its title since 1976. In 2007, Rancovis McDougall was bought by Premier Foods. Mr. Kipling cakes are bought by more than 60% of households every year and the entire range contains no artificial colours, flavours or hydrogenated fats. Combined with inspirational cakes and real attention to detail. Traditionally, Mr. Kipling is known for its classic selections of large cakes, pies, slices, small cakes and tarts. However, this is not the entire product range. One of Mr. Kipling's key strategies is to explore new formats for its existing cakes, which saw the launch of its snapback range in September 2011. This quickly became a key performer for Mr. Kipling during 2012. Snack packs produced products included Angel, Chocolate, Lemon and Banoffee Slices. The Angel Slice Pack was promoted with a successful TV advert, positioning the brand as a cake to go using the same Grandma's Tin TV advert used to promote all Mr. Kipling products. 2012 saw the introduction of the Desserts Classics and Mini Classics as well as a new revamped brand and updated packaging. These products aim to tap into the tea time market where cakes were worth £20.2 million of this set in 2012. The UK is a biscuit and cake loving nation where products have been popular for centuries. According to Mintel in 2013, the total brand market share in the cake and the cake bars market is £1,038 million. Mr. Kipling's holds 17% of the value of brand shares significantly higher than the corporate compared to its rivals such as Cadbury and McVitie's. Mr. Kipling's current core customers base belongs to an aging demographic. However, innovations through individual cakes and seasonal lunches has attempted to attract a larger audience. Popular products include the cherry bake balls and the angel slices. We have chosen to continue to work with the UK market as it has one of the most developed biscuit and cakes industry. Similarly, Mr. Kipling products are synonymous with the UK, for example, the bake wall tart. Premier Foods market Mr. Kipling products under ambient cake categories which according to Keynote in the Biscuit and Cake Report 2013, UK market has ambient cakes was valued at £1.34 billion. The ambient cake market saw a 12.2% rise between 2008 and 2012, and the number of enterprises involved in the market has increased by 5 units in 2012, showing companies are optimistic about the future of the industry in the UK. The diet market is something that is becoming increasingly important and bakery products compromises 16.2% of the industry. Furthermore, Mintel forecasts the diet market to grow 12% to 1,174 million pounds between 2013 and 2018. The dieting trend reports 2013 state women are significantly more likely than men to try and lose weight, with 25 to 44 most likely to be dieters. Using the Mr. Kipling chocolate slice, we propose to use a strategy of brand development to create Mr. Kipling's lighter bites, which turns the chocolate slice into bite-sized healthy snacks. This product will contain 30% less fat and sugar when compared with the original Mr. Kipling products, but will not compromise on the taste. This product will be sold in a box shape with six individual packets inside. This is consistent with other snacks and on-the-go products from Mr. Kipling, where the slice section contains six items. This product aims to attract women aged 25 to 44 who are more health conscious and more likely to have children who will also enjoy the chocolate snack. As well as developing the chocolate slice product, we have also developed the famous tagline too, exceedingly good, exceedingly healthier, which we feel can, keeps consistent with current branding but emphasises the healthier aspect of the product more clearly. This product is aimed at the ongoing snacking as a lunchtime accompaniment and tea time treat. Our individual portion size reflects the demands in the market for more individual on-the-go cake portions. The cake market is facing increasing competition from growing product ranges. We believe the current products in competition with Mr. Kipling Lighter Bites are mainly Weight Watchers with products such as their Belgian chocolate slices, which boast the same health aspects. This product retails at £1.30 for 5 slices. Another competitor is Special K with them chocolate mini breaks, which retail at £2.39. Special K have also released brandy bites in the US but are yet to launch in the UK, therefore we feel our product is the only one on the market. As well as being in competition with their new product development, they also appeal to the snack pack market, which Mr. Kipling has famously done so with its sliced varieties. Cadbury also has a snack selection. With a short snack cake, however, it does not hold the health qualities of our product and is likely to be bought less regularly as a tr and as a treat. Other competition stems from rival categories, where Mintel states that the cake and cake bars have fallen significantly behind competing categories such as biscuits, chocolate, cereal bars and sweets. 
One main rival is the oven Vitties, who produce the breakfast biscuits, which is seen as a nutritional filling, energy giving breakfast, and is additionally host to a wide range of cake varieties. Possibly the biggest competition facing Mr. Kipling is the own label brand, which holds 50% of the value within the brand shares market in 2012. These products, such as Tesco's own Angel Slices, are perceived as just as good quality as branded products and retail at a lower price. The resulting own label dominance has put increasing pressures on prices for branded products. Political factors include the increased tension drawn back to the obesity in the UK, whereby the government has chosen to focus on public health responsibility deal and a traffic light labelling system. As it stands, 26 million UK citizens are said to be obese by 2030. Therefore, political issues lie in the raising awareness of balanced diets and contents of food. We believe that our new healthier product with clearly listed ingredients complies with ongoing political issues. According to the keynote economic issues affecting the biscuit and cake industry stem from 2008 to 2009, the economic crisis in the UK, where Britons have had to adapt to changes in the financial circumstances and have become cautious buyers, resulting in decreased in spending and consumption on goods seen as unnecessary. However, in spite of the downturn, the market of cakes and biscuits still has traction the customers still want to be able to endure in trees and is one of the most prominent sectors in the food industry and is forecasted to rise by 46.2% by 2017. In society at large, there is a growing consensus towards healthy eating and a balanced diet, reflected in ongoing media political coverage. Currently, cake is seen as an occasional treat with high fat and sugar qualities which are linked to rising obesity levels and other problems. Therefore, we believe we are responding to this pressure and this market opportunity to create a product that is seen as a more acceptable and part of a balanced diet. In terms of technology, innovations in new ways of advertising such as online are making appearances in today's society. Additionally, with continuous improvements in technology, manufacturing, processes are likely to improve. We have focused the lighter bites Mr. Kipling consumer market on 25 to 44 year old women who are professional mothers with children. According to Minzel 2013, in the last six months, the highest cake usage is from 25 to 34 year old females, with children aged 5 to 9 in the household who also boost consumption, specifically on individual and mini cakes. The market is also forecast to grow at 9.4% from 2012 to 2017. Minzel also suggests that 1 in 4 users would like more of these individual portions. Thus our idea of focusing on entering this gap in the market through more cake-to-go impulse buyers. According to census data from 2013, there will be 18.2 million families in the UK. The UK population is also said to grow by 9.6 million over the next 25 years, thus providing a larger potential consumer base. Regarding incomes, we have no specific income bracket as our price is cheap at £1.59, mirroring how median income in the UK has fallen by 3.8% since 2007, but also still appealing to the higher income bracket through promoting the high quality of the product. We are aiming for a nationwide market with no specific region within the country. Cakes face competition from various other snacks such as cereal bars and biscuits that emphasise strong health, treat and convenience details. Therefore, market opportunities lie in creating more healthier choices in the cake market with 34% stating high fat sugar content as a reason as to why they don't want to buy cakes. 23% say they cut back purchasing cakes to, per, uh, to save money. This provides a niche market for Mr. Kipling with healthy individually portioned and cheap products to be able to satisfy any needs. The chance to increase brand loyalty will increase the chance of Mr. Kipling having a lasting effect in this market. The main cake users tend to have fairly broad repertoires with over a third of adults having bought four or more types of cake or cake bars in the last six months. While older users tend to be less frequent cake users, under 25s are among the most likely to be non-buyers, which is likely to reflect their lack of involvement in grocery shopping overall. We aim to target at a segmented market of 25 to 44 year old professional women and mothers with a concentrated strategy approach. With Mr. Kitten's economies of scale and large diverse range of products, we will be able to put a large amount of resources into a product and strategy. Capitalizing on increasing market trends such as healthy eating and the growing movement away from large cakes to small cake as seen in Mintos 2013 Cake and Cake Bars report. This is a perceptual map of the current cake market. As it can be seen, the competitors in the market share very similar attributes and qualities. However, with the movement towards healthier lifestyle, so we have constructed another perceptual map for the diet cake bar market and to ensure the brand stays ahead of competitors. From conducting extensive market research, we have been able to construct a perceptual map to position the Healthy Lighter Bite product. Mr. Kipling is an already leading established brand. 
we feel repositioning would lose some credibility for Mr Kipling. Therefore, we shall continue on the current position that Mr Kipling holds. However, due to the dominance of Brand with over half of the market, it highlights the importance of focusing on Mr Kipling's core values. Due to the society's increasing dietary concerns, the importance of conveying to the customer our guilt-free healthy treat to be included as part of a healthy balanced diet to move with the healthy eating trend within society. A scene as in the pest analysis will allow us to tap into this fairly small tangible market. This is our USP and puts our product ahead of the rest with a strategic and reasonable price. Mr Kipling has been around for many years and as a result has, been, has had a good quality reputation. The brand of Mr Kipling has managed to build up the image of elderly gentlemen running a small bakery who emphasise on home bakery to their customers, even though the product is industry produced. There is no need to adapt to a new market as Mr Kipling has already established in the UK. A new product will be consistent with the current branding using the same Mr Kipling logo graphics and wording to communicate with customers that this product is part of the Mr Kipling range. Customers are more likely to trust the new product if they have been satisfied with other products under the Mr Kipling brand name. Our selling strategy for this product is again consistent through supermarkets and will also use the same pricing policy of being re uh, retailed at £1.59 which is the current selling price for most Mr Kipling products. The type of brand our, pro our product possesses is a manufacturer brand, whereby producers ensure that they are identified with their products at the point of purchase. In this case, customers will easily, easily be able to see from the brand logo that this is part of the Mr Kipling range. Mr Kipling's Lighter Bites holds the brand name on the packaging, which is consistent for all of the Mr Kipling products. This makes our branding policy one of the overall family brands. Product. Mr. Kipling's new chocolate lighter bites range will be recognised as a healthier version of the previous original range. The new product will share the same qualities, satisfactions and most importantly taste to the previous range whilst also containing 30% less fat and sugar. According to Kino, 34% of adults claim higher fats and sugar content in cakes and cake bars is why they don't buy them more often, with agreements significantly higher among the women 25 to 34 age group. A greater choice of healthier um, options can increase usage, usage frequency among the one in five who only eat cake on special occasions. Kino also suggests that convenient packaging for snacks is an increasing consumer preference for being easier for both sharing and eating on the go. On the basis of this information, Mr Kipling Chocolate Lighter Bites will be sold in a box of six, with each individual portion of Lighter Bites wrapped in a foil packet to meet current co consumer preferences. Guys, we've set the price at £1.59 as it is an affordable price for our target market across all social economic classes and is consistent with the current price of Mr Kipling Slices. 66% of buyers note that price is a choice factor and over half are influenced by special offers and promotions. This is why for the first two weeks of sales there will be an introductory offer of £1 to encourage sales. This is further backed up by Mintel's Cake and Cake Bars report of 2013 which states money saving mechanisms are more likely to appeal to price sensitive cake users. Promotion. Our main methods of promotion will include full position strategies of television adverts, magazine adverts and taste sessions which we all believe will create awareness of the new product whilst also associating with the current brand positioning. This strategy will be supported by free taste sessions in supermarkets to encourage trial where consumers have the option to buy the product there and then. We hope to create attention, interest, desire and action from this advert which will be similar to the successful Angel Slice advert. This advert will be broadcast for eight weeks on ITV during women favourable programmes such as Daybreak and Coronation Street. The advert will launch at the start of September to coincide with our product launch. We have chosen to use ITV as according to the TV agency is the largest commercial television channel in the UK and a typical Coronation Street slots can reach up to 10 million viewers. We can justify our decision to use television advertisements to promote our products since according to the BRAB in 2014, 97% of households own television. Our magazine advert will feature for eight weeks in Women's Own magazine, starting at the beginning of September. Their target audience is directly linked to ours of busy mothers and housewives aged between 25 and 54. The magazine has a weekly frequency and distribution and circulation figures of 225,436 and a reach of 702,000. Therefore, this creates a large reach for our target market. Our push positioning strategy will be through supermarkets where our products will be easily identifiable on the shelves and readily available for customers. Supermarkets already stock Mr Kipling products, therefore we can continue to support and maintain our relationship with this trade channel intermediary. Place. Initially, the development will be launched in the four largest supermarkets in the UK. 
The reason highness is in 2012 supermarkets accounted for 87.1% of the total expenditure of biscuits and cakes according to the keynote 2013. If the initial trial promotion period is a success, then the product will be rolled out to all of the supermarkets within the UK and also to other independent retailers. In store, they will initially be placed at the end of the hours to encourage impulse buys and emphasise our £1 promotional offer. After this time, they will be, then be placed in the snacking aisle along with current Mr Kiffin products. Our product will be launched in stores at the beginning of September 2015 in time for the new school year on a trial run basis for eight weeks. During this time, we will launch a TV advert, magazine advertising and tasting sessions in order to create integrated marketing communications for our customers. We, we, we believe that this period is long enough to gather substantial information to help decide whether to fully roll out the development. At the end of the trial, advertising will cease and we will assess the success of our products through analysing the number of units sold compared to other Mr Kipling products, whilst also gathering primary feedback for our consumers in the form of online questionnaires. Future developments include rolling out to more supermarkets and independent retailers and increasing our healthier product range in other lighter versions of Mr Kipling products. It's important to continually improve the content of Mr Kipling cakes, offering healthier versions of our products to cater for a more health conscious nation. Another future development could be to offer this product as an individual item as part of a meal deal to target the lunch time sector more specifically. Overall, we believe our new product is a strong contender in the market where there is demand for healthier, more individual cake portions that are more confident in its success. Thank you for listening.